three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Wednesday, January the 3rd, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with another End Times video. Family, let's go! Family, let me start the video by saying thank you for tuning in with us today. As always, your love and support means the world to us. Now, before we get into this end times video, if you could give this video a thumbs up and make sure you got the notification bell turned on, that way you'll be notified every time we upload the end times video. Now, while we're at end time news channel, the ultimate goal of this channel is to point you to Jesus and point you to the cross, and nothing says it better than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. Now, family, today, man, I got a very interesting video. Now, we know that Jesus is coming soon. We know we're living in the final moments right before our Messiah returns and removes the ecclesia, the body of Christ. And, guys, we can literally see this world that we're living in today steamrolling right for the time of Jacob's trouble. And there's signs everywhere. End time signs are almost on a daily basis. And one of the things that the Most High uses for signs is the stars, the sun, and the moon. He created them all. And Genesis 1.14 tells us this. And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. And let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. Now, family, did you hear that part? And let them be for signs. So you see, family, the Most High God, he is the architect of the heavens, and he uses the stars, the sun, and the moon for signs. And we read in Daniel 6, 27, he delivers and rescues. He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. He who has saved Daniel from the power of the lions. Now, family, did you catch that part? He works signs and wonders in heaven and on earth. And family, the Bible also tells us in the end times, in the final moments, that the Most High God is also going to still use the sun, stars, and moons for signs and seasons. Luke 21, 25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth the stress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And family, in Joel 2.31, it also shows us that in the last days, the Most High God is going to use the sun and the moon for signs and wonders. And we go on to read in Revelation 6.12 and Matthew 24.29, it's the same theme. The Most High is going to darken out the sun. He's going to turn the moon to blood. He's going to use it for signs and wonders. Now, family, I think we all know the Great American Eclipse of 2024 is coming up on April 8th, 2024. And family, I truly believe what I'm about to show you and what we're about to talk about. Guys, this is really, really some big stuff right here. And it shows that there's a purpose behind these solar eclipses. Now, we got this one coming up April 8th, 2024. But family, today, we're going to go back all the way to August 21st, 2017. And we're going to look at a series of four eclipses. The American solar eclipses of August 21st, 2017, June 2021, October 2023, and the one coming up, April 8th, 2024. Now, family, I want to throw in that the Revelation 12 sign also happened in 2017 after this first solar eclipse. Now, family, if you look at the path that these eclipses travel, if you look on your screen right there, you can see they make the Hebrew letters Aleph and Tav, or Alpha and Omega. Look at it right there. Family, it is almost like the Most High God has put his fingerprint on these eclipses. Guys, I don't think this is a chance at all. It's not a chance that this first eclipse and last eclipse come about seven years apart. Family, that first eclipse was a warning from the Most High God. And family, don't forget that the Blood Moon Tetrad also happened in that time period. Now, if you look right here, the first eclipse in 2017 and the last one that's coming up in April 8, 2024... They make the ancient Hebrew letter of Tav, which has a numerical value of 400, and we know that the Most High created the sun, moon, and stars on what? The fourth day. Now, this is the 22nd letter of the Hebrew alphabet, and you can see right there, it is also used as an interpretation of a cross, and it represents the ending of something, family. This is amazing. Now, these two eclipses that nearly crossed the entire U.S. seven years apart, 
form a giant tithe or X over the nation with the center of the X despite being in an area in southern Illinois called, check this out family, Little Egypt. Ironically, or by divine decree, the August 21st, 2017 eclipse occurred on the first day of Elul on the Hebrew calendar, marking the first day of an annual 40-day cycle of repentance. And the one coming up in April 2024, the second of the great eclipses, will occur on the first day of Aviv, or 14 days before Passover. Now, family, I also want to note this. The October 14th, 2023 annual solar eclipse that happened eight days after Sukkot, with the X occurring over Utopia, Texas, and it exited the county of Corpus Christi, which means body of Christ. And when you put all of these three paths together, it is very clear they form a leaf top, Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I mean, look at it right there, family. Now look right there, and you can see in this next picture right there, man, guys, I'm telling you, that's not a coincidence right there. That's the most high. Now, even more significant, these eclipses are almost completely contained within the continental borders of the United States. And like I said, even more fascinating is that both the 2017 and the 2024 eclipses each have seven cities named Salem in them. And Salem comes from Shalom, meaning peace, and both are leaving the nation heading east. That's both of the eclipses leave the nation headed east. And we also know that the word Salem in U.S. history is associated with witchcraft. I mean, family, you ever heard of saying that a picture is worth a thousand words? Well, look at that right there, guys. And like I said earlier, the Most High created the sun, stars, and moons for signs, seasons, days, and years. Family, these four eclipses from 2017 to 2024, we'll call them the solar eclipse tetrad. Guys, they have a meaning to them. I also believe these were seven-year warnings for the time of Jacob's trouble. This was a call for repentance to America because America has turned their back on God so much. And God wanted this message to be so clear to America that he even stamped Alpha and Omega in it. Now, I remember the eclipse in 2017. It come through South Carolina, guys. And as soon as it went dark, you could hear crickets start twerping. It was an experience that I'll never forget. But my question to you is this. Is God's seven-year warning to the United States of America soon to expire? Let me know in the comment section below. Family, I'm telling you, what a time to be alive and remaining. Let's go. Now, family, let me close this video by saying this. Jesus came and lived the perfect 33 years and was born of a virgin, guys. He never once sinned. Jesus, at the age of 33, went on that cross. Guys, he laid down his life so that we may live. He paid our sin debt on the cross. The Son of God went on the cross and took our punishment. He laid dead for three days, three days, three days, but death could not hold our Messiah. He defeated death. He defeated the tomb. He, go, he went and ascended to go be with his Father, the Most High God, and family, he's coming back for us soon. If you don't have a relationship with Jesus, today can be your day of salvation. Believe the gospel of Jesus. The Most High God is faithful and just. He will forgive you your sins, and family, that's facts. And family, I know the spiritual warfare in these final moments, guys, is off the charts. Hang in there and keep your head up. Our redemption draweth nigh. Jesus is coming soon. Well, family, I love you. And as always, once again, I want to say thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to share it. And drop your prayer requests in the comment section of this video. And family, if you feel led to contribute to independent news, there's ways you can do so. If you check the description box below, we have donation links. But as always, the biggest form of help we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. We greatly appreciate them. Well, my beautiful channel family, the next time, Brother Watchman Adam signing out in 3, 2, 1, family. Let's go, Harpazzo! Later, guys.